today, the borderlands are literally built out. More than 700 miles of sensitive ecosystems have been carved out and destroyed to make room for a border wall. But for thousands of years, long before the foundation of the two neighboring nation states, these borderlands have been home to indigenous communities who know no boundaries. Only their lands and their traditions that bind them to the land and to each other. And now at a time when everyone else seems to have an opinion on what should happen at the border, we want you to listen to our voices. Eh, el territorio de, de, de los, del, del OTAN llega hasta de, más o menos del río Salado, porque es Casa Grande, toda esa parte antes de llegar a Phoenix, hasta Hermosillo. Es el territorio OTAN. Bueno, es la nación más grande que hay ahorita y que ha existido por miles y miles de años y que fue la única que no, no se rindió ante todo lo, lo que estaba pasando cuando, cuando se hicieron, vinieron y colonizaron todos los españoles, ya después llegaron los gringos y gracias a Dios eh, me siento honrado de, de ser descendiente de la tribu Tohono O'odham. What we're doing is we're doing these interviews because we believe that the testimonies and the stories of the lived experience of the peoples are so important in the preservation and the protection of our treasured cultural and spiritual reserves. Good morning. My name is Lorraine Marcus Eiler. I live in Ajo, Arizona. And I'm going to be talking about my, my relatives, the people that I descend from, who are Hiachitotam, and who used to live at Kito the Kito Springs. We are tribal and faith-based communities who stand united in our concern, grief, outrage about the border wall. We believe the destruction of still living place-based spiritual practices at or near the border is a moral assault on the sanctity of all of our cultural and spiritual practices. A direct assault on all life. The border wall has disrupted our religious expressions, damaged our sacred sites, destroyed ceremonial plants, and threatened our sacramental waters. In Arizona and California, the autumn and the Kumeye have seen their sacred springs depleted and dried up. Seasonal floods now threaten autumn communities living near dams and arroyos in Sonora, Mexico. In the past year, burial sites, artifacts have been bulldozed by government contractors, even though their sensitive locations were fully provided to officials for months in advance. Along the Arizona border, we witnessed how Quito Springs whose waters have been used ceremonially for millennia have been seriously damaged from border wall construction and water pumping by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the Armored Corps of Engineers. Quito Baquito Springs is the only source of water for humans, endangered wildlife, and rare oasis plants for 20 miles in any direction. During the wall construction, more than 84,000 gallons of water was withdrawn each day from the aquifers of the desert wilderness to mix concrete for the wall. At Quito, Biquito Springs, the water level dropped more than three feet. 
We call for restoration and mitigation of all of the damaged springs and waterways that are critical to our native cultures and to wildlife. In California, the Kumeye have seen their sacred Hakumba Springs dry up. Some of these areas, we wouldn't be disturbing anyway because of their sacredness. We wouldn't go there unless we were prepared ourselves and ask for permission from the Creator. But these people, they just go there and destroy things, they move things out of the way, they uproot important plants, and, and they have affected the waterways, and it's just heartbreaking. We call for the removal of segments of the wall that have interfered with the flow of water, animal migration, pilgrimage trails, and trade between nations. We want to see an end to groundwater extraction and artificial lighting in wildlife refuges and other sensitive areas. We urge our governments to reinvest in restoring key cultural ecological areas and habitats, including replanting saguaros in destroyed areas. Pues el muro, yo digo que, que no debe de estar en las reservas. Le digo por qué? Porque afectaría a todas las las tradiciones de nosotros, las ceremonias, porque son sitios sagrados. Porque oiga, hay, haz de cuenta que, que nosotros vamos a sentir que nos están partiendo el corazón, porque porque pues son son tierras que defendemos de hace muchos años. Antes hacía fiesta ahí en San Francisquito, las ceremonias de todo. Ahora no 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 se hace nada, no se puede hacer nada. The border wall has also blocked our pilgrimages and our ability to practice our sacred saguaro ceremony, seasonal ceremonies, and celebrations with our families. The border wall has disrupted relationships between our communities. Sacred salt pilgrimages of the Akamir Autumn, Dawn Autumn, Hetid Autumn, that crisscross the border, including Quito Bukito, are being blocked by the border wall, causing this sacred journey to seize on its traditional route that has been for millennia. The pilgrimage is key rite of passage for young men, and salt harvested from the Sea of Cortez is used in healing ceremonies. No se están recorriendo lo que es los senderos originales. ¿Por qué? Porque están bloqueando eh, eh, con el muro. Y la verdad, pues, me siento yo muy triste, enojado. Me duele mucho porque eh, es algo que mis ancestros eh, lo pelearon pues, para que estuviera generación tras generación. Don Otton families live in on both sides of the border grieve the loss of content and relationships between their families because of the wall. Era muy importante y es importante, por ejemplo, el, el día de San Francisquito, eso, un mes antes empezábamos a carrear leña, a carrear agua porque se carreaba agua, o sea, todo por esa, porque nosotros creíamos en eso, yo no conozco otros, y ahora con el muro va a ser mucho menos, o sea, que va a parar nuestra cultura, va a parar nuestro con nuestros hijos, o sea, ya, ya eso ya no, ya no va a poder ser, ya no le vamos a enseñar a nosotros, a nuestros hijos, ni tampoco ir y venir por la cuestión de San Francisquito. San Francisquito es algo, está una capilla y, o sea, hay, hay muchas cosas que eran de nosotros y ya se nos quitó por, porque, porque quieren un muro, o sea, ¿quién quiere el muro? Es gente que no es de allí. No pueden ellos opinar, yo digo, no deberían de opinar porque no es tierra de ellos. I feel like they don't recognize us as a present people. We're either something in a history book that's really fascinating or we're some kind of like I don't like some kind of like pedestal little like oh this is a pretty Indian look at them like you know kind of thing but we don't have actual meaning to them.
And as we witness how current border wall construction has continues to violate tribes' religious freedoms, we are calling for justice. We are proposing solutions, not just legitimate grievances. Yeah. Ida is haichu aga. These are our stories. Oh, 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 oh.